The food is ordered. The sticks are up. We are ready for Friday night football number seven. Someone's walking away with $1,000. We are so happy you are with us. Of course, big thank you to our sponsor, Grubhub. I'm Nick Mazesco. I'm hanging out with Zan and Zan. We got a great feature game on right now. Uh, it is Nini taking on the man who's usually filling this spot. Boogs getting back on the sticks. Uh, starting out, Boogs is going to get the ball. And this first drive is so important to set the tone. Yeah, you're going to see him running some gun bunch tight ends. So that means one of two things. Run heavy offense or the... I believe Miami Dolphins offense. So we'll get an idea of which one is which here in just a moment. I'll tell you the one thing you should look out for is if he's audibling into the single back trio, that will be the run heavy offense. So uh, those are the two things to look for here. And of course, we know him as one of the best players in the community at running the bunch offense. This is the bunch tight end, though. So we're going to see how this one goes. Bug starting off with the ball. Mike Vick at the helm. Going to drop back, looking to pass here on first and 10. Looks underneath. Quick pass to Randy Moss. Picking up five on the play. Nice, early, easy read underneath just to get the rhythm going. Always important to be able to get your quarterback into the rhythm right there. You saw Nini go with a little bit more of a coverage defense. And there you see the actual Nini is He's the right head there. coach. I can see him. There he is. Washington Redskins, big-time Washington Redskins fan. Uh, competed in the, I believe, the L.A. Rams club series uh, representative for them this year. But yes, big time Redskins fan. Uh, and we're going to see if Books can really settle in here against this. Uh, looks like double A gap. It's going to take off with Vic. Tries to get the edge, but a nice shoestring tackle. Bringing him down for only a gain of two and already a third down. An opportunity for Nini to get a stop on third down and force a key fourth down decision. I think right here with Boogs, you you just still got to kind of sit back, get your uh, get your feelers, kind of sponge up what he wants to do offensively. Not not a lot of players running the bunch tight end over the bunch week, so Nini's going to need to kind of just chill. And you see right there, he's pinching his defensive line out of that double A gap, trying to get a double loop from those D tackles. Watch out for those guys coming around the edge. Moss coming in motion out of the bunch wide left. Dropping back to pass on third and two. Dropping back, waiting, playmaking. Nobody's open and a big, wow, they ended up calling that an incomplete pass. I thought that looked like a fumble to me, but then again, I don't got those Madden ref eyes. Yeah, Vic, all year long, he's been one of the better quarterbacks at throwing out of sacks right there. You see that that's one of the traits that he has is just that ability to obviously extend plays with his legs, but also he does throw out of the uh, the sacks quite a bit. So big fourth down and two coming up. Huge fourth and two. Boogs starting with the ball here. Has dreams of those $1,000 in his pocket, but going to need a big conversion here. Dropping back to pass. Pressure off the right side. Lobs it up. That's a bad throw. That's picked off, and it's going the other way to the 30, 25, 20, 15, 10, 5. Put it on the board. Nene, an early touchdown defensively. That's got to be a killer for Boogs on the first drive. And Boogs talks about the man every single week. He says he is the greatest of all time. Megatron at defensive back makes that big interception 4-6 there for Nene. Already out to a 7 nothing lead. And I think right now, if you're Boogs, you just got to sit back and kind of chill. You, you know that Nini's not doing a lot different than what you've seen all year long. He's just doing it out of the nickel double A gap, bringing that corner blitz, trying to get pressure off the backside with that looping D tackle. He's going to have to pick that up if he's going to win this ball game. No need to panic, though, early. 3.42 to go in the first quarter. I know it looks dire for Boogs, but... I think it's key on this first drive, uh, this now second drive after the first drive ended so disastrously, just to come out and get to your game plan. Run what you know how to run and put some points on the board. So right here on drive number two, obviously, now you see Nini going with the nickel corner on the trip side there. He's bringing him off the weak side of the formation on the previous drive, so trying to give Boogs a different look after the big pick six. We'll see if Boogs is able to adapt right here. Moss in motion. Once again, two wide receivers left. Moss out to the right, dropping back on first and ten. He's got Y open underneath, doesn't take it. He's going to chuck it up. He's got George Kittle over the top. 20, 15, 10. He'll be taken down inside the 10-yard line. Boy, that shows me what I know. I was looking at the underneath, and Boogs was looking for the money ball deep down the field. I, I was looking underneath as well, but right there, great coverage beater right there. He saw that he had that outside corner dropping a little bit slower off the ball, and Kittle, one of the fastest tight ends in the league, gets over the top. Big gain. Now Boogs firmly inside the red zone. Boy, if you had told me a year ago George Kittle would be one of the best players in Madden, I, I, it would have been an interesting conversation. Looking back at the end zone, high pass, trying to bring it in, but a nice defensive play, prying that out of the hands of the sure-handed Kittle. Going to bring up a second and ten. Slew of defenders there for Nini. Great defense. Uh, high point is big-time meta here in Madden. You're going to see a lot of these attempts tonight. Vic to Moss is one of the best tandems in the game. 
Well, draw play and well read by Nini, but Cook breaks a couple tackles. Dalvin Cook trying to make something happen. So we saw the big play from Boogs coming down here inside the red zone. It's been two plays that haven't gone very well. Now he's facing a third and long. Third down 13 right here. I think if you're Bugs after the big pick six on your opening drive, you have to get points here. You can't take a big risk knowing that Nini has the ball at halftime. You have to get on the board right here, make it less than a full possession, and see if you can get your stop on defense. you got to remember, Bugs hasn't been on defense yet in this ballgame. Bunch on the left side. Kittle alone on the right side at the moment. Play clock running down. Adjustments being made. And that's going to be a flag on the play. Ran out of time on the play clock. Decision right here for Nini. You would think that this is a very, very tough decision or a very easy decision to make, but he is going to go he ahead and back it. it up. Yeah, you typically get more room to throw down here. So that third and 14 from the 14 in real life, you're absolutely backing him up to the 19. But in Madden, you have to consider that's more field to cover. And uh, Boog's one of the best at beating zone in, in the community. Three-man rush, that stunt up the middle. The little loop got to him. And who else but Vaughn Miller, the defensive leader of the Broncos, showing he can work for Nene and forcing Boogs into a field goal attempt. I like the decision by Boogs. you got to be patient right here. Take your points. See what you can do. nini has got a very unique offense. You're just going to have to come out try to sponge it up on your own. You've already seen Nene really, really forcing the tempo right now for Boogs. When he's on offense, just not comfortable in the pocket. He's going to have to figure that out here if he's going to make a ball game of this. Great to see everybody hanging out with us. Friday night football, $1,000 going to the winner of tonight's tournament. Friday night football number seven, sponsored by Grubhub. Nick Mazesco hanging out with Zan. Man, Clark. how good is it to have you as the play-by-play -play guy? I already see so many compliments for you in the chat. I mean, they, they think I'm trash as a play-by-play. -play. <laughs> I'm definitely more suited for this color commentary role, and I'm, I'm so thankful to have you next to me. It's like, uh, well, this is our first time commentating together, but it, yeah. feels so, it feels so fluid. It feels like I've been working with you for years, man. Well, hopefully we, uh, we'll actually be able to work together for years. We're having a lot of fun out here, and we hope you guys are having fun in the chat. Seeing people talking about how Kittle is a beast with that big play over the top. You can see the bracket in the chat. You can check out some of those key first-round matches. We'll keep you updated on all the action around the tournament. 32 players. It's winner take all. And here we go. Right under center for Nini. He's a, I have a lot of admiration for the, his style. I'm a big-time under center player myself. I love seeing these under center single back offenses. First and 10, looking to pass. Pressure gets there. Balls out. It's a fumble. Huge opportunity. It's picked up by Nini. Oh, that could have been the momentum shift that Boogs was looking for. But a couple misses on the dive there. And boy, Nini's got to be taking a big, deep breath. Unfortunate for Boogs right there. He had two potential fumble recoverers right there. And uh, neither of them come up with the ball. But you have to take a positive away from that. You, you got him for a loss of nine. Now he's back in the single back tight double. Well, he he oh, kind of motioned to a wing look right there. Kind of stacking it up. I'm going to have a hard time following Nini tonight. He's going to do a lot of stuff that we haven't seen all year long. And I, I, honestly, I'm looking forward to it because he's going to open my eyes to some stuff that we could do under center. And you guys should be looking at home. Yeah, I, This is my first time doing Friday Night Football. I'm going to guess when people are talking about drops in the chat, they weren't talking about McNabb dropping the football on no. that fumble. I don't think that's what they were looking for. No, certainly not. But you guys can get dr drops in the chat. Let us know if they are not active for you. They should be active. Uh, if they're not, we will try to contact someone and get those. Of course, we're going to be doing giveaways tonight oh. as well. Team MVPs on the way. We'll be drawing those all night long. Nice one-handed catch. 18 yards. Donovan McNabb at the helm. You may not know how many overtimes there are, but he's still a pretty darn good quarterback here. 7-3 Nini on top with the ball. Looking to uh, knock out Boogs early first round action. Big pressure up the middle. Great blitz right there. That slot blitz. Jones comes through. Block sheds against that right guard. He's going to have him backed up again. That's second time in this drive. He's been second down in 18 or longer. Now getting some adjustments here as... Early in this game, uh, it's 7-3. It's a close game, but the story is just that early interception taken back by Nini. That's the difference. And now with the ball and the lead, this drive could be a crucial one when we look back at this game. Yeah, he's going to have the ball at halftime. Anytime you can get points without touching the ball on your opponent's first offensive possession of the game, that is absolutely huge. I would say that that player goes on to win the vast majority of the time. Second down and long for Nini. McNabb dropping back. 
Stepping up, rolling out to the left side, looking deep down the field. Ah, the throw was a little bit behind him, and that allowed the defense to catch up and pry that ball free. A little bit of inaccuracy down the field, and now an opportunity for Boogs to get off the field. Great defense right there by Boogs to be able to break that up. However, I like the route combination from Nini a little bit more. You use those vertical threats down that left sideline, and the post breaks underneath them. I think the handedness of McNabb was the reason for that missed throw, rolling out left. Oh, that's an easy pitch and catch. Boy, what a quick Quick read by Nini. Didn't even have to wait a whole lot. Got it out of his hands and picks up the first down. So that's the thing about cover two blitzing. If you take those vertical hook defenders out of the seam and you bring them on the pressure, that quick slant or that deep cross in that example is going to be wide open. That's what you saw. That bubble screen bubble action. Sc I don't know if I've ever seen a bubble screen. Not from under center. Man. No. Definitely not from under center. I think the, the trip's tied in. We see a lot of that. And even the players in the community that run that offense don't run a lot of bubble screen. So very unique here from Nini. Second down and eight, three wide set. Nini coming out under center once again with McNabb. How about a run play? And that's not going anywhere. Jordan Howard. You're a big Jordan Howard fan, right? Yeah, you know, I'm a, I'm a slight Chicago Bears sure. homer. Uh, it's sure. looking like he might not be in a Bears uniform next year, though. May not be a Jordan Howard fan for long as this clock's going to run down. We'll see if they take another snap. They will not end of the first quarter 7-3. Nini on top. But I think Boogs has reclaimed a little bit of this momentum. Big third down and eight coming up right here. He has to get off the field with Nini having ball at halftime. Mutt Club in the chat saying, glad to hear someone is using something different. Always nice to see some uh, wrinkles in on the offensive side of the ball. Now a third and eight. We'll be doing the giveaways uh, at the breaks tonight, but make sure you guys are active in the chat. We'll let you know when we are doing those. Big third down, and that's uh -oh, going to be uh -oh, intercepted. Uh oh, that's a bad play off the hands, and it's picked off, and Boogs gets one back. What a momentum shift there. We saw almost it with the fumble early in this drive. It ends up a pick anyways, and Boogs right back in this ball game. How about the first half for Jones so far? Got a sack and a big interception. Now, Boogs has an opportunity to take this lead back. This is a huge drive right here. Again, I, I sound like a broken record. The ball at half is huge in competitive Madden. He needs to get a score right here. Rubot Witch saying, any chance you could define active? Just be talking in the chat. That's how we uh, can keep an eye on it. Make sure you're in the chat. And let us know what you guys think here. Friday Night Football number seven. Deep pass right side. Did he get the feed in? Nope, he didn't even get the ball. Got to climb the pocket right there. He drifted a little too far away from Moss. That crossing route was a little bit longer than he needed to be. He did have the receiver open, but incomplete nonetheless. Second down and ten coming up. Bill Websock says, is Jacoby playing tonight? Yes. He yes, absolutely he will be. We'll be uh, bringing in some other games here shortly, but our feature match with Boogs down by four with ball. Texas Tough SOB saying, Zan, the man EA needs to hire him for commentary. I agree. Hey, man, I wasn't blessed with the voice for commentary. <laughs> Second and 10-4, Boogs, Vic steps up. Looked like he was going to run it steady. Let's it go. He finds Moss down the field. Randall Moss picking up a big first down. 23-yard line. Boogs now in that area. He struggled inside the 20, looking to get some points on the board. Hopefully a touchdown. Taylor, two plays right there for Boogs. You see a couple plays ago, he drifted a little bit further back in the pocket. Same route combination on that play. That time he steps up in the pocket, uses the playmaker to pull down the user of Nini, and hits that crossing route. Big gain down close to the red zone. Yes, I said Randall Moss. I, I almost gave him a middle initial. I'm not sure what it is, but I almost called him Randall K. Moss because it just sounds right. Yeah, you know, we have a little bit of uh, wordplay with, with players <laughs> every now and then. First down and 10. Looking back corner of the end zone. Moss is there. That's Randall once again <laughs> with the touchdown. Boogs after a disastrous start to the game. Back on top. The turnover turns into points. I'll tell you. Burgers, donuts, niçois salad. Delivering from over 95,000 restaurants nationwide. If you want it all, you can get it all. Grubhub, restaurants you love, delivered. Big answer right there from Bugs coming off the terrible start to the ball game. And I think right now, if you're Bugs, you're, you're looking for this bunch tight end, maybe to show up in your draft champions round next week because this offense looking pretty good after the slow start. Yeah, that was a real nice drive from Bugs to reclaim uh, the lead 10-7. Bugs on top. Nini with the ball. And Zan, we saw this sort of unconventional offense from Nini. It struggled a little bit on this second drive. Yeah, Nini's definitely a player that likes to use a lot of motion, try to decipher the coverage. You see right here, he's going under center empty. I mean, we haven't seen a single player in our brackets through seven tournaments run this. So we're going to see what he's got here. Three-man rush here. Nice identification right there. He finds the corner route. That was, a, that was a calm, cool, and collective throw. I thought he might be looking at the wheel route on the right side, but looks to the corner. And early in this game, 
the corner routes for both teams working. I'll tell you what I'm seeing right now from Boogs. When he brings the pressure, Nini is not comfortable. Right there, three-man rush, way too much time in the pocket. Boogs is going to have to definitely send the pressure here from this formation. How about Vernon Davis with the catch there, first and ten. Driving back to pass, looking to chuck it up. He was looking for the streak over the middle, and Tremaine Edmonds said, how would you take a seat, Donovan? Big sack on first down. Six foot five, one of the better user linebackers in salary cap, but you see him bringing the pressure. I just said, three-man rush, not getting home. He brings five on that down, gets the sack. Second down, 19 coming up for Nini. And we got Litz versus Shop on the right side of your screen. Big interception early in that game. Keep tabs on that one as Boogs' defense starting to eat. Gets after the quarterback, now third and long. That matchup on the right. I mean, this is our first sight of lights out in competitive Madden this year. So we'll see what he's got in store. Shopmaster, one of the community leaders, making his Friday Night Football debut as well. So we'll see how that game uh, fares in right little, little underneath route right there for Nini. Trying to get back and make this manageable. And now they're going to use the... Using that hurry-up offense, trying to keep Boogs on his heels. Fourth and 12, and boy, would this be a huge stop for Boogs. 3-10 and counting in the first half. An emotional wide receiver over, dropping back is McNabb. All the time in the world looking left side. Can he get it? There is it on the money. No. No, no, it is not. He was out of bounds. Turnover on downs. Great defensive stand right there from Boogs. You notice right now when he brings the pressure, Nini is not comfortable at all. Now Boogs has got an opportunity to grab full control of this ball game, make it a two-score game. Crazy Corey saying McNabb had a very underrated career. Now trying to make uh, make Nini happy here. Friday Night Football put a thousand bucks in his pocket, but Boogs has the ball back 301 to go in the first half. 10-7 the score. Mike Vick in the shotgun, dropping back to pass. Waiting, looks underneath, has a man wide open. It's Moss, tries to spin around the defender. But he'll be taken down right near the sticks, bringing up a second and one. It's only the first half, but we've seen that exact route combination run that drag route from right to left wide open a number of times. Nini's going to have to pick up on that because I think Boogs will definitely come back to that in a short down scenario later on in this ballgame. Now under the 240 mark. See what Boogs does time management-wise. Does he try to kill this clock, not give the ball back? Vic throws left side, has a man. That's Hill. It's a first down to the 27-yard line. And now we're seeing a little bit of a different offense from Boogs. We saw the deep passing on the last drive here, really working the underneath. Working that short sideline right there. Runs the corner route, the flat route, and then he runs a pull route, creating a sideline flood. And he basically just reads, is it a cloud flat, is it a hard flat? And he takes the one that's wide open. How about a little draw play for Dalvin Cook? Spins off of one tackle. Picking up three yards, and there's a timeout taken by Nini. Nini wants this ball back, knowing that Boogs in field goal range can extend this to a touchdown lead. So I think right now, if you are Nini, I think you can afford to play a little bit more aggressive right here. If you're going to give up the first down, why not allow it to be for points rather than Boogs kind of milking the clock and scoring with no time left? You want to be able to get that book in score, that last score of the first half and the first score of the second half. That's all about what competitive Madden is about. Big play up the middle. How about Aaron Donald? How good does he dance on him? And Huge just sack. like that, he gets aggressive. He gets the sack right there. Aaron Donald right up the middle. And I think that's what we're talking about. In salary cap, we do not see a lot of cap go to those interior linemen. You see guys like Aaron Donald who are, I mean, defensive player of the year, MVP candidate in real life. They're going to destroy those low cap guards. And you saw that right there on that play. On the right side of your screen, you see lights and shops still scoreless in the first quarter, but a big third and 17 here in our feature game. Boogs with the ball and a three-point lead at the two-minute warning. Showing that bunch formation left side, Kittle, the tight end on the right side of the line. Play clock running down, adjusting as needed. Hill in motion. Four-man rush right here from the Redskins. Dropping back, looking to the corner out left side, looking for Moss. Great defense over there. Gets the defender in front of the wide receiver, bats that ball away, and forces Boogs into another field goal. Again, Boogs kind of drifting away from that line of scrimmage. You notice that when he steps into his throw, he's been on the money all game long. When he's drifting away from the line, those corner routes and crossing routes have been a little bit too long, and you've seen Nini's defensive backs being able to make plays. So now six-point ball game, Nini, two timeouts, getting the ball back, but... Zan, Nini has struggled offensively. He got the short field off the interception on the first drive. But since then, when he's had to drive the whole field, it's been a turnover. It's been stalling. And now 
He's got to find some way to get in the end zone here with a buck 47 in the first half. And if I'm Boogs, I wouldn't do anything differently than what you did on your last drive. A lot of players have a tendency to go into kind of a prevent shell late in the, the halves, go that two-minute warning style defense where you just want to keep everything in front of you. Right now, Nini is, is struggling. you got to keep the foot on the pedal right here. Right here, you see Boogs. He goes to that three-man rush. And Nini's been kind of comfortable with that. Good coverage, though, by Boogs. Oh, nice playmaker. Back to the ball. Spin move. And how, how nice is it to be able to take a chunk of 40 yards on one play right down the middle of the field? It's literally a tale of two defenses. When Boogs sends three, Nini's comfortable. When he sends four more, he's really been struggling to find open receivers. You can't give him six seconds right there. You're going to give up 40 yards every single time. First and 10, and hey, how unless, about the defense? Unless you're getting that Miles Garrett off the edge, going to work right there. Big time block shed's going to back up Nini out of field goal range. He didn't even dance on him. He just laid on the ground because he knew it was such a nice play. Took a little nap. Rest up, Miles. It's now on second and 16. Boogs looking to get after Nini in the pocket. Three wide receiver set as McNabb dropping back to pass. Looks underneath, safe throw, good spin move back to the inside, inside the 30 to the 29-yard line, setting up a third and short. Nice nice for two reasons right there. One, you get yourself back into field goal range. Two, you're making it sh uh, third down and short. you got to have a manageable down and distance right here. Chewbacca L in the chat saying, we need more quarterback draw. Uh, he's, got, he's got a mobile quarterback here in McNabb. Uh, tries to run it left side, a little stretch run. Jordan Howard gets caught up, and now fourth and two. Decision time. What do you think, Chad? You're going to kick the field goal here? You go for it and try to keep that hope of getting a touchdown alive. I'll tell you what. Right now, if you're Nini, I think you take the points. You haven't gotten any points on offense right now. You have the ball at halftime. That's going to give you a chance to take a lead. Obviously, a touchdown gives you a lead right now, but I think you've got to put something on the board right here. If you come away empty on this drive, I feel like Bogues is going to be in the driver's seat the rest of this ballgame. Nini trusting that offense that hasn't quite gotten rolling. Fourth and two. 43 seconds remaining in the first half. Motions that split in, and we'll see what he's going to do here with that narrowed receiver. Yeah, he split him back out. Right, I think he was listening. Listen. Uh, you saw Boogs went ahead and blitzed that outside corner when he motioned to that short uh, that short set right there. So let's see. Called off the dogs there. Fourth and two. Has a man right side, and we saw that big pickup. That's the same route combination that he was looking for on the right side when he picked up that third and long. They're looking for it once again, but the receiver can't pull down the catch. Right there, Boogs, you saw right there, he, he went with the vertical hooks. They were able to kind of get back into the throwing lane, apply that, you know, catch a traffic penalty, and you saw he was unable to hold on to it. Now Boogs has a chance to maybe tack on a field goal. He does have one timeout. 40 seconds is a lifetime in Madden. Everybody talking about the drops. That was a drop right there. Big drop for Nini. As he gets no points on what was a nice drive, and now Boogs. A huge opportunity. Looks over right side, completes it to Hill up the right sideline. Stays in bounds, though. It's going to force Bugs to use his last time out. Good use of the playmaker right there. Got to get out of bounds if you're Tyreek Hill. You have to be able to you know, stop that clock and preserve that timeout. Now he's going to have to really use the sidelines to his advantage, and you know that Nini's thinking that as well. First down and 10 on the 42-yard line. Bugs up six, but looking to put more on the board going into halftime. Dropping back to pass. Plenty of time with that three-man rush, and Vic going to take off. He'll step out of bounds at the 45-yard line. And this is a big drive, not only because you can put some points on before halftime, but Boogs got the ball to start the game. Nini, uh, it's a lot nicer to get that ball to start the second half down six than down maybe nine. So we just talked about his ability to use the sidelines, get out of bounds, and stop the clock. He had to do it with his legs right there. But the thing is, Nini doesn't have to respect that playmaker over the middle. So he completely let it go. It would have been wide open, but Boogs is preserving time. He doesn't take that read. He has to scramble out of bounds and only pick up a gain of three. Second down and seven for Boogs. Dropping back to pass once again. Pressure gets there. He just gets rid of the ball. And what a throw to Hill over the middle. Makes the tough catch. Clock running, though. Boogs, no timeouts. So it takes eight seconds to get back to the line right here. Boogs is going to have to be quick, get this out of bounds, and see if he can have the leg for a field goal. Right here, it's 57 yards. I doubt he's going to have anything for this. Nine seconds and counting. Probably looking at a chuck and pray. Dropping back to pass. Only a three-man rush. Looks to the left side. And that's Gets the, out of bounds with one second left. Great clock management by Boogs, but boy, was that the longest one second you've Ooh. ever seen? I was looking at my stopwatch going, is that really a one second? I think that there must be, if this was a basketball game, you'd see .1 on the clock as this from the 32-yard line, a 49-yard attempt. It is up. It is good. Two-possession lead. And boy, I didn't think we'd be here, Zan, with Boogs, the disastrous start he had to this game. Yeah, that interception by Calvin Johnson 
the out of position Calvin Johnson for Nini. It looked like it was going to be a terrible game for Boogs going forward, but he really settled in both offensively and defensively. I'll tell you what, when Boogs is getting stops on the defensive side of the ball, you're going to be in trouble because he's known for his offense, not his defense. And I think Boogs maybe got a little fired up seeing Megatron return that uh, that interception. I think might have gotten Boogs going 16-7 at the half. And for Nini's, and I mean, the, this unconventional offense we talked about, it has not gotten going. We've seen some spurts, but Books defensively has really locked it down. I'll tell you what you need to do right now if you're Nini. You can't get out of your game too much. I think you got to start to try to establish that run game because Books is running a fair amount of three man rush. And uh -oh. It, uh -oh. Nice uh -oh. playmaker. Oh, one handed catch around the user, breaks the tackle 75 yards to the house, and that's one way to break a slump. Hit him with a one play touchdown. Great recognition of the open receiver. Playmakered him up the field. And, of course, we all know that spin move is deadly in Madden. They've done everything they can to try to make it less effective. Nini, down by two. Wow, huge, huge start to this half. Only took 14 seconds off the clock, and it's a two-point ball game. Appreciate everybody hanging out with us. Friday Night Football number seven, presented by Mudhead, sponsored by Grubhub. Nick Mazesco, Zan, hanging out with you. We got Boogs and Nini, first round action. If this is your first time here, Zan. Give them a little, uh, little piece of what they're going to see tonight and uh, what they're all playing for. $1,000 winner take all 32 man bracket on Xbox One salary cap mode. If you guys feel like you have the chops to compete in this, exclamation point, compete in the chat, prove it to us. We look at every single application that comes through. I can assure you we have meetings every week, and you see guys that are getting opportunities every week. Nice little check down underneath John Ross picking up a short game for Bugs. I'm seeing Bugs run a, a lot of this shallow cross concept, giving him some deep options, usually that deep corner or fade, and some crossing routes over the middle right there. Bugs taking the easy pitch and catch. I think Nini's going to have to figure out this mesh concept underneath. He's got one drag ru running wide open every single time Bugs goes to that double crossing route concept. He's really, really playing with him on the playmaker as well, trying to open up some of that deeper route. Well, how about Nini getting to the quarterback? That's Green bringing down Mike Vick. And those are the plays that Nini didn't get a whole lot of in the first half. We saw a couple sacks. We saw the interception. But after that, really that first drive, Boogs was able to dominate the pace of the game. But Nini with the sack on second down, setting up a third and long. And how big would it be if Nini is able to get the ball back here? 351 and counting in the third quarter. Once again, motioning Hill out from right to left. Vic dropping back to pass, another four-man rush. Looks over right side, takes the check down underneath. That's George Kittle who will go out of bounds at the 25-yard line, only picking up eight. But you know, Bugs, he's all in. He wants that 1K going for it on fourth down. We don't bring a punter to the party in salary cap. No point spending the cap on them. You're going to see players going for it on fourth in a long distance all night long. Get used to it. It's just the way that this mode dictates. I mean, who am I fooling? We never punted when we had punters in regs, so you're definitely going to see players going for it all night long. Pat McAfee was never an MVP on my team. I'm just saying. Fourth and ten. Boogs in the shotgun once again. Hill motioning from left to right. Four-man rush once again. Vic steps up, looks over the middle, has Hill right at the sticks. A beautiful throw. Spin back inside and picking up a huge first down. Great patience by Boogs again. Stepping up in the pocket. He steps away from the line. Those edge rushers in that wide nine, that double A gap look, get around those tackles. When you step up, you make them have to go a little bit further to chase you. And with a guy like Vic, that's an easy throw and catch. Good first down right there by Bogues. That's a big first down pickup as Nini with that early touchdown looking to keep the momentum. Instead, Bogues picks up the first down. And how about Dalvin Cook? He's cooking early in this game, fighting through the tackles, picking up seven. Now, I think right now this Dalvin Cook is an item you're going to see a lot of in salary cap tonight. I'm not sure if EA has gotten around to changing this, but I anticipate for the last chance qualifier that starts next week, make sure you guys are getting your salary cap teams ready at home. They're probably going to update that. Both those Dalvin Cook, his two best items, have the same cap. So a lot of players are going with that right now because the cap number has not been updated yet. Second down and three for Bugs Vic in the shotgun. Once again, this time Moss in motion on second and three. Dropping back, dropping back, looking underneath. That was tight coverage over the middle and an accurate throw to Hill. Picking up the first down once again, and Bugs showing off his offensive skill here, working it deep, working it underneath, and working it somewhere in the middle. I think right now we can't really blame Nini too much. He's still going with an aggressive look. Five-man rush on the last down, but Bugs' offensive line started to show up after that slow start. 
Charles Martin saying Pat McAfee is truly a legend. Put that man on uh, Monday Night Football. I think, I, I think there's a big-time uh, contingent trying to get him on Monday oh. Night Football. I'd like to see it myself. He's a, a funny guy. Really, really shows that he can commentate the game well. Looks underneath once again. Ooh, that spin move a mistake, but is able to get back inside, get it back to the 48-yard line. I'm just a little disappointed, Zan. I came out here for Friday Night Football, and there was no construction lift for me to sit on and call it like Booger McFarland. <laughs> we'll make sure that we get that for you next time. We'll, you. Get, we'll get you the OSU mobile. Or you want to call it the OSU or the Nick mobile? I like OSU mobile. That kind of works. Yeah, big time better. Buckeyes fan. We were talking about Illinois and Ohio State uh, history, and there's really no comparison earlier. So uh, I don't really have too much to contribute to this conversation about college. <laughs> big Ten football, of course, second and twelve. And how about Nini getting after the quarterback once again? That is Green with his second sack and set up another third and long. You know it's four down territory for Bugs, but he's taking a lot of sacks here on first and second down. Kevin Green, one of the better finesse rushers in Madden, and when you talk about finesse and power moves. Finesse moves are going to win more frequently than power moves, but power moves, when they do win, are quicker to get to the quarterback. But you see more players are going to go for consistency. Those finesse rushers off the edge are absolutely crucial. Third and 24, Vic and Boogs. Only a two-point lead after the first drive touchdown in the second half by Nini. Stepping up and sitting down is Michael Vic, and that was a great user there. Sitting in the middle, sees Vic starting to step up and gets aggressive setting up a fourth and long. Great little delay blitz right there with the user. You see he uses those four-man rush, hard upfield rush to the outside. The center goes and applies a double team with one of the guards, leaves the middle wide open. Jalon Smith, big-time sack right there for the former Notre Dame fighting Irish player. Bugs on fourth and 22. He goes, man, I can't even I can't even go for it here. I can't even justify that. And now, all of a sudden, Bugs go into halftime, two-score lead. Nene scores first play out of halftime, and now a chance to take the lead on this drive. I think Nene's got to switch up something here. We haven't seen the run game too much, and boom, just like that. Here comes Jordan Howard. Now, look at him fight through the middle of that line, get to the 24-yard line, shaking off tacklers left and right and picking up seven. I think that's Jordan Howard's longest run of the game, and I think you're going to have to say to Boogs, hey, I'm going to start to control this clock as we head into the fourth quarter. You're going to have to stop this with this 3-3-5 defense. Very even yards-wise. Boogs 184 total yards. Nene right behind at 178. Clock running down, and we're going to hit the fourth quarter here in this first round game. Put your fours in the chat as we go to the fourth quarter. It's a two-point ball game. Couldn't ask for better from a feature ball game. Look over here on the right side. We knew that lights out was going to bring something unique to the party. A little gun jumbo. And a uh, nice little wheel screen to the running back out of the backfield. Got a nice little close matchup right there between Shop and Lights Bruin. But, hey, we got we got a big one between Nini and Boogs right here. Almost at halftime in that game. This feature matchup. Just hitting the fourth quarter as good pursuit by Boogs on defense. Third and three. And what may be one of the biggest third downs. Got the fours in the chat. And I, I like, like that, that wall of fours. Again, guys, we're going to be giving out team MVP items throughout the evening. So just make sure you guys stay tuned. Stay active in the chat. And we'll be announcing those. Nice crossing route. He went right back to that play. That's been his money play on third down. It's been the money play. He saw it on third down. And if it wasn't for a drop, fourth down, he would have converted that one. It was a nice read. But a better defensive play is now Nini. 41-yard line. Only a field goal. Put him back on top. Close ball game. How big was that touchdown to start the second half? First and 10. Dropping back with McNabb. Chucking it up. Look at middle of the field. Trying to get that aggressive catch, but a good play made on the receiver. Going to bring up a second and 10. Maybe two weeks ago. Those aggressive catch attempts that were caught pretty consistently a couple weeks ago. Now the more players you have in the area, they're applying more of a penalty in traffic. You're going to see more drops like that going forward. Second down and 10 for Nini. Going to run the ball here. Get Jordan Howard going. Good tackle on the edge. Only two yards on the play, and now on third and eight. And I don't know if anybody really expected this much of a defensive ball game here in the first round. Yeah, I think that we're just seeing that when these guys are dropping eight guys in coverage, it's been very easy going for both offenses. But when they're bringing four and five players, it's it's been very, very tough. And that's kind of the story of salary cap. Those offensive linemen do not hold long. So you send the four, you send the five, you send the six if you need to. But again, when you... Oh. Would have been Big a completion, hit. but a huge hit right there from Bugs. And we got the biggest play of the ball game coming up here for Nini. We're under four minutes to go here. First round action, Bugs and Nini. The winner of this game is alive for that $1,000. The loser, 
Hopefully got some Grubhub. Big shout out to Grubhub, our sponsor tonight. You can use the code TOUCHDOWN for $10 off your first order of $15 or more. Big thank you to Grubhub for the sponsorship. Can't wait till our food gets here. I'm, I'm pretty excited about that one, but I'm a fat guy excited for food. It's hey, not that me surprising. too, man. Commerce Kitchen is amazing. One of my favorite restaurants here in Huntsville. Fourth and eight. Good defense down the field, but great protection by the offensive line. Vic looking, or excuse me, McNabb looking. He chucks it up right side, didn't get it. And a huge turnover on down the defense behind Boogs. That secondary locked down the receivers. It's been an, it, it's been an insane ball game. We saw Boogs struggling on offense, and then he busts out with 16. And then you see Nini start to get his offense going after a, a promising start. And now we're starting to see kind of a lull again. These guys are really settling in. This has been a roller coaster of a ball game. And now, 3.49 to go. Plenty of time left, but it's going to be up to the defense of Nini. And this isn't a great start as Dalvin Cook, big carry, shakes off one tackler. He'll pick up the first down, getting 16 yards on that play. And I'm just saying, that hole on the right side was big enough for me to fit through. I think right there, uh, Bogues talks about this on the cast every week. Habit of spinning. I think Bogues might have just gotten into the muscle memory and mm -hmm. spun into a tackle. I think he might have had the edge right there if he kept running with Dalvin Cook. Yeah, it, it, it's it's almost a habit at this point. Early, the spin so good. Now, maybe nerfed a little bit, not quite as effective as on first and ten, running that concept once again with Dalvin Cook, little outside zone concept, trying to pick up as many yards as they can, but more importantly, letting that clock run down. Three minutes and change going. Uh, we got. Nini with three timeouts. That's a, you got a, you got an opportunity to get this ball back. You get you get the hold to three right here. You're going to need a touchdown drive. He hasn't really shown the ability to put together consistent drives. So I think if you're Boogs right here, you just keep it really conservative. Get yourself at least the five point lead. Don't take too many risks right here. Second down and eight. Going to throw it on second down. Maybe not. Maybe we'll just get Vic out of the pocket. Big play by Green. He's going to drop him for a one-yard loss. Set number 30 and 10. Clock running, 240 and counting. You got to think on third and 10. You think Boogs maybe looking to throw the ball to pick up that first down or just run the ball and get into a five-point lead? Uh, with Boogs, you know he's going to be throwing this ball. And in fact, he's going to break the huddle with a different personnel grouping here. Uh, he's going to audible into this little wing trio formation. This is a, uh, a new formation that we're going to see here in this run-heavy playbook. Uh, so we'll see. Using that whole clock, they're going to look to throw on third and ten. How about step up with Vic? How about Vic sliding down? First down for Boogs, a big play from the man usually filling this seat. He looks pretty comfortable there on the sticks. We talked about him running that hard outside rush, Those all four of those linemen really rushing hard. On the last drive, he got off the field because Jalen Smith was able to get a sack through the middle right there, back in coverage on the third down and long. Easy step forward for Vic and a scramble for a first down. And now the two-minute warning. It's going to be up to the defense of Nini to get some stop here. they got all three timeouts. Dalvin Cook, great cut back inside. Oh, that's going to be close to a first down. Did they give it to him? Nope, they're going to call it second and inches. Clock running a big first down play for Books. This is a really bad spot to be in right now for Nini. Obviously trying to get the ball back, but now we're in QB sneak territory. He's got, he's got three chances to pick up inches with the falling forward in this game right now. That's almost a guaranteed first down, and then Nini's got to start burning timeouts and get a fresh stop on a first down and goal if Boogs were to achieve that right here. So we'll see if Nini's labbed up any QB sneak defense. Second and inches, clock down to one. How about the QB sneak? Look at him fight for, get to the end zone, call him just short, and that may be the GG's in the chat with the Michael Vick quarterback sneak. I mean, you pick up four or five yards with the QB sneak. I mean, how are you going to get four stops in a row from less than a yard? I mean, right here, if you're Nini, this is the absolute worst thing that could have happened to you right here. Uh, and he's going to stay in this double A gap look. You see, he's just he's kind of saying, in. I'm going to let you have it. Yeah. Oh. And he doesn't get it. And that might be the best thing that could have happened for Boogs not getting into the end zone on first down. And I'll tell you why. This is something that a lot of competitive players have talked about. Do we try to run the defenses that actually hit the quarterback, or do we just take a chance on backing up and letting him fall to the turf? That's kind of what you saw right there. But right now he's going to mug the gap again. So we'll see if he's not yeah, now he's, back he's backing off. off again. And this time, able to get in the end zone, extending it to an eight-point lead and – the hope right now, I think, for Nini is maybe get a block on that extra point. And he's going to tap out. That's it. So 